Good evening. We've got first details coming in at the moment on the recapture of a dangerous criminal caught in the southern suburb of Medina after close to three hours on the run. He escaped when an armed man attacked a guard to set him free. We have live reports coming up, but we begin our coverage with this report from Alice Pooley. Uniformed police and detectives all looking for a dangerous prison escapee after a daring break for freedom. The occupants of the vehicle are armed and dangerous and we have grave concerns for the welfare of the public. Serial armed robber Jonathan Fraser Sedman had been at Fremantle Hospital for a pre-booked medical procedure. As he was leaving with prison guards about half past two this afternoon, two people in a car confronted them with a shotgun. A vehicle has uh, pulled up to the corrective services staff and uh, with a firearm and threatened those staff and, uh, and made good the escape of Mr Sedman. A male guard hit in the head. I know he had a shotgun. <laughs> Tried to hit the security guard in the head with a shotgun. Right. Yeah. And that's when I seen come around the corner yeah. and then, yeah, seen him take off. The guard was taken to Fiona Stanley Hospital with a minor head injury. The 33-year-old escapee and his two accomplices got away. The lady was yelling out for help, like... Somebody stop him or some. Police are looking for this 2010 White Holden Commodore with registration 1DYT612. They were having a good laugh as they were driving off. He's got a violent history and a violent past. We also know that the occupants of the vehicle were brandishing a firearm of some description. It's not the first time Jonathan Sedman has staged a daring escape or used firearms in his crimes. In 2003, the then 19-year-old escaped from Armidale Courthouse while appearing on robbery charges. And in 2006, he was jailed for a 10-day armed robbery spree, one of two criminals dubbed the Takeaway Bandits. He was in custody today after being jailed again this August for an armed robbery at a pharmacy in Seville Grove. We know that um, Mr Sedman's um, antecedents aren't great. He's got a violent history. And we're still getting information coming in from police on the recapture of the wanted man. For an update, we're going to take you to Alice Pauley in Spearwood. Alice, what's the latest you're hearing from police involved in this operation? Well, Tim, the latest is that this all went down roughly about half an hour ago. We're being told that Jonathan Sedman has been recaptured in Medina. It's about 25 kilometres from where he originally escaped from. In these pictures, you can see that the car that he was allegedly found in is a white Commodore, and it does appear to be the same car that was used in this escape. Police tell us that there were a number of other people inside that car with him as well. The dramatic arrest was witnessed by a number of drivers we spoke to one of those drivers a short time ago. Have a listen to what he had to say. Lo and behold, I saw them leading a gentleman who fitted the description exactly being led to a paddy wagon with his hands handcuffed behind his back. I would say there'd be seven or eight cars uh, in a cluster on the side of the road. It looked perhaps as if um, the car had been forced off the road but uh, I couldn't tell most of the action had happened before I arrived. And it's not clear if those two accomplices who helped Jonathan Sedman escape were inside that vehicle which has been found with him. What we know about them is one of them is a woman, the other a man. The woman, we've been told, is actually Jonathan Sedman's girlfriend. Police have told us that they did have intel earlier in the day that the group were here at Phoenix Shopping Centre. The TIG did swarm here and surrounding suburbs, but obviously this is not where they were. They have been caught some distance away, or at least he has been caught. That's what we know so far, some distance away in Medina in our southern suburbs. Tim.